Welcome to the Capital Area Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, Chamber Connect. I am Elisa Dubois, the Vice President of the Chamber, and I'm so excited that we are here in this new venue for the first time at Xfinity Studios. What I wanted to announce, we're going to make a few announcements, but we're also going to announce that you can start eating. I know that's been a very um, high question on the list. So you guys can start to line up for our food as we do our announcements. So I just want to bring up the people that have made tonight possible. Um, first, I want to bring up a wonderful woman who I've known for a very long time. She's a great chamber member, and she is here with her team tonight. She is our host. So I want to bring up Holly Bainham of R Street Studios. Hello, everybody. Thank you all so much for coming. I'm Holly Bainham. I'm the owner and engineer of R Street Studio. We are located in Northeast Washington, D.C. Our space is like having a studio in the living room. That's what we do. It's very homey. We record everything from opera to rap. And, you know, if you got a podcast, we can do that. We can go mobile with you. Um, if you want to do a recording party and for your corporate events, we can set up a booth and you can find your favorite karaoke thing and sing to it. We have that to offer to you. We are, are open to every kind of thing that you can, every need that you need. You know, that's, that's what works. Um, we are open to doing some educational things as well. Um, and so we are just happy to be here. Um, worked really hard to get our street to where it is over the past few years. And I just want to introduce you to the people who have helped make this possible. I want to introduce you to the R Street team. First, one of our owners, of, not, well, not the owner, but the engineer and producer, Evan Oliver. <laughs> producer, musician extraordinaire. Uh, we have Delonte Butler, producer. If you need some dope beats, these two are the guys to go to. Uh, we have our uh, social media maven, Meridian Wit. There she is over there. And you know, we, we like to be creative, but we have to do the business thing too. So we have our legal advisor around the corner, Dawn Crawford. She's kind of helping us all the drinks. And uh, I, think, I think that's everybody. Did I catch everyone? So we, the, the reason why we wanted to do this, we just wanted to show off uh, the artists that we have uh, coming through our street studio. So tonight, you're going to have a treat. Ajon Jones and the R Street Band. That's what I'm calling you all tonight. <laughs> Ajon Jones and the R Street Stand up, Ajon. Yeah. She is going to raise you with her vocal artistry tonight. Follow us on Facebook, so, um, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure you sign the, the guest book that's up at the front. Um, if you take pictures, make sure you tag us. And that's all I have for you tonight. What's your tag? R Street Studio. On Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you once again. Thank you, Holly. So start thinking about those events that you want to create this summer, those parties, those corporate events where you need some singing and some wonderful recording done. Think about our street studios, okay? So I also want to introduce you to the wonderful person who helped to put us in this space. Ms. Tabitha Williams, can you come and tell us how we can also um, take advantage of this wonderful space that you have here at Xfinity Studios? Ooh, good evening, everyone. Thank you guys for joining us, and welcome to Studio Xfinity. So this is uh, Comcast's newest uh, retail experience, is kind of what I'm going to call it. This is a flagship store for us. It is full service. We do offer all five of our products here, including our latest edition, Xfinity Mobile. So make sure you guys check that out. And we, I just welcome you to the space. We're glad about uh, continuing partnerships such as this with our street studios and with the chamber, looking to do more events of this nature. If you guys have any questions about the space or utilizing the space for an event, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be hanging around here and, and uh, we can exchange information. But while you're here, I welcome you to you know, visit any of the interactive stations behind you. Feel free to ask any of our representatives any questions about the products and enjoy yourselves tonight. Thank you.
Thank you. And how many people are enjoying the food? I see people have plates. And you look like you're having a good time, so that, that's a good sign. Okay. I want to bring up our wonderful caterer, Miss Loretta Pringle. She's going to tell you about her company and how you can enjoy more of this great food this evening. Welcome, Loretta Pringle. It is a, an honor and a pleasure to stand before you and to serve the food. Eat Foodie Delights on Instagram, so please follow us. Our chef, Chef Marley, who is classically tra trained chef who loves to cook. I, as her sous chef, also love to cook. So we just thank you. Please enjoy. You have mac and cheese. You have lollipop chicken. There's sliders. They're vegetables for those who do not eat meat. And it's salad. So please enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so going on with the people that I want to thank, because there's so many great people that put this together. This is not an easy feat, but it's, it's easy when you see people come together and actually enjoy. So the next person that I want to thank is our corporate sponsor. So I believe Jesse, yes, Pendergrass, did I get it right? Pendergrass. Pendergrass from Wells Fargo, who's our corporate sponsor. Who's going to speak for the moment. Hey guys, um, so as she said, my name is Jesse Pendergraft. I am a business banking specialist with Wells Fargo. I'm also the events chair for our Pride team member network. So I work with sponsoring events such as this one on an annual basis. We're also working on partnering with a wonderful organization doing a fundraiser. It's called the Wanda Alston Foundation that helps that some of us know about it. Um, we're in the process of working on that and getting things together. Um, I just wanted to put this out there too. We're not just working with Pride and, and the LGBT community. We have multiple other team member networks that work and organize things as well. I was speaking with, um, with Holly as well about our women's team member network and how we can continue to partner with other organizations and get them involved with the Wells Fargo community. Our number one focus right now on top of rebranding is financial literacy. So if we can come in and help your organization, help your staff, or even just be a partner in building your business, that's really what we're looking to do. Um, but thank you to the Chamber, thank you to our street studios, and have a good night, guys. Thank you, Justin, thank you. And so the one great thing about being connected with the Chamber is being able to promote your initiatives and your events. And so I want to introduce a member of the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, who we work with very closely to increase advocacy and bring forth events. So Glenn Wyman is going to tell you about an upcoming event with the National Chamber. So welcome, Glenn. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Glenn Wymer. I'm on the Events and Experience team at National LGBT Chamber of Commerce. And as Lisa said, the 2018 International Business and Leadership Conference is coming up in about four and a half weeks in Philadelphia that will run from August 14 through 17. Um, we encourage everyone who's interested in attending to book your hotel and get registration. We're at about 80% capacity for both, so we're looking forward to selling out. We encourage everyone to come, just a quick Amtrak right away. If you have any questions about programming, the hotel, anything, please come see me. There's postcards around here that have the dates where you can sign up, et cetera, et cetera. We look forward to seeing everyone there and having another amazing opportunity for networking and LGBT business opportunities. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Okay, and is Nick from Charles Schwab here? Nick, come on up and tell us about your upcoming event. I'm Nick Blanco at Charles Schwab. I'm actually up in Potomac, so sorry it took me so long to get here. Uh, we're one of the newer members of the chamber. We're learning a lot about this experience so far, and we really like the chance to meet and uh, talk with each one of you. So thank you for making me feel welcome. We're going to host an event on the 24th of July. Closer. Sorry. We're going to host an event on the 24th of July up in Bethesda Branch. It's an educational session uh, around financial planning. It's going to have a focus on LGBTQ plus, IA plus issues. So we encourage everyone who's interested in joining 
for that event, we'll have food, drinks, it's going to be about an hour and a half, and everyone is welcome invited to come join us, bring guests. If you have any questions about it, talk to me here, or reach out. The Chamber actually has uh, the event up on their portal, so you can register to attend that way, too. We hope you'll come, bring some guests, and uh, eat our sushi. Thank you, Nick. And could I have all of the chamber board members come and join me for a second, please? A lot of you don't know who the board members are, and we have some new board members that have come on board within the last year. So I want each person to introduce themselves, and then you guys will see on the tables our newest directory that's been updated for 2018, which has all of our business members in it. A lot of people are asking, why should I be a member of the chamber? One of the reasons is because we need to get better at networking and keeping our dollars in our community. So whether you're LGBTQA, doesn't matter. But you need to know who the professionals are so that you can refer business accordingly. And if you don't have a business, how many of us like to buy stuff and we're consumers? Again, it's a great thing to keep our dollars in our community. So learn who your business owners are so you can learn where to strategically and smartly spend your dollars. So I'm going to pass the mic to our other board members so they can introduce themselves, starting with Rochelle. Some more networking and some more enjoying of this wonderful band. 